Hey guys, John V here from Phone Reno. Right now you're watching our video comparison between the Sony Xperia Z1S and the Apple iPhone 5S. Now the Z1S is the latest flagship smartphone to come out from Sony's camp and it's going to contend on T-Mobile's lineup against the iPhone 5S which as we know is probably one of the more competitive devices on the market. So we have two premium smartphones, a lot to like about both. We're going to find out how they compare against one another and which one you might ultimately want to stick with. So there's no arguing that these two have some premium design so it's really tough to say which design we prefer more, the brushed aluminum casing of the iPhone 5S or the all glass construction of the Sony Xperia Z1S. Due to its smaller size, the iPhone 5S is much more form-fitting in the hand, so if you have smaller hands, it's by far the easier device to hold. Whereas with the Xperia Z1S, it's a handful just because there's a lot of dead space, especially from the top and bottom side of the bezels here, so it contributes in giving it a very large figure. Even though they have sturdy constructions, it just feels like the Xperia Z1S just has a little bit more of a delicate feel due to the glass front and back casing. It's nice that it's waterproof so it could withstand being submerged underwater versus the iPhone 5S, which can't obviously without a case, but nevertheless, um, it just feels like it's more delicate. There's a 5-inch 1080p triluminous display in the Sony Xperia Z1S which makes the 4-inch Retina display of the iPhone 5S look minuscule in comparison. On paper, the Xperia Z1S has the higher pixel density count, but honestly, the two are more than detailed from the same viewing distance. Only when we look at them very closely do we realize that there's just a little bit more sharpness with Sony's display. Now it's wonderful that they both handle outdoor visibility with no issues at all. They produce some pleasant looking colors, but the iPhone 5S's retina display is better at, at maintaining its viewing angles. It's just a lot more clear and maintains its clarity, whereas with the Xperia Z1S, you could tell right away that it washes out even at slight angles. And finally, we have their cameras. It's a monster-sized 20.7 megapixel camera in the Xperia Z1S, which kind of blows away the 8 megapixel snapper in the iPhone 5S. Usually, people would say bigger is better, but that's, that's not always the case. But we're going to find out how they compare a little bit later on. And as far as the software experience is concerned, it's of course the battle between Android versus iOS. Some people will like one more than the other, but in this case here, there's just a beautiful aesthetics with the presentation of both. So you have Android 4.3 Jelly Bean and Xperia Z1S versus iOS 7 and the iPhone 5S. Power users will especially like the Xperia Z1S's experience just because it's a lot more in-depth compared to what you get out of iOS 7 in the iPhone 5S. At the same time, it has a very nice visual presentation. They really have a high-level standard when it comes to the aesthetics of the platform. Additionally, we see some of its depth when it comes to the multitasking experience. You have these new multitasking widgets which can be overlaid on top of whatever you're doing so you have a better grasp of that versus with the iPhone 5S which kind of only has task switching at best. It's worth pointing out that we appreciate the Touch ID biometric fingerprint sensor in the iPhone 5S. It's really nice and quick and easy way to actually unlock the device. As for iOS in general, it's a very easy platform to understand, especially if you're a first-time user. It has a low learning curve, and at the same time, it has a lot of visual, visual eye candy, which kind of complements the overall ease of the platform. On one hand, we really appreciate that iOS 7 is simple and intuitive, but it's not as diverse or in-depth compared to Android. For starters, with the multitasking experience, like I said, it's a little bit more of a task-switching experience versus true multitasking. And even though Siri is nice, it still doesn't quite encompass the kind of features we get with the Google Now experience over with Android. When it comes to basic things like opening up applications, switching between stuff, multitasking, they're both, they both exhibit the same performance. So the Xperia Z1S is powered by Qualcomm's latest processor. It's a quad-core 2.2 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 CPU coupled with two gigabytes of RAM. And obviously, it's more than effective in giving it a lot of speed and responsiveness. Even high-intensity stuff like 3D gaming, it's able to handle. However, the iPhone 5S's 64-bit base Apple A7 processor just gives it a little bit more snappiness, but it's not something we tend to see greatly with things like 3D gaming, but it's mostly found in other things like moving between applications, uh, moving around the home screen, even surfing the web. That's the only time that we notice it's slightly better snappiness. Oh. 
We're definitely digging the Walkman music player that's an alternative with the Xperia Z1S. You could of course use the Google Play application, but there's just, again, a beautiful aesthetic with the Walkman player. There's also a visualizer if we want to set up as well. Now, as far as the audio quality, unfortunately though, the Xperia Z1 as a speaker is rather lackluster. Kind of drowns out, drowns out in noisy environments, and the iPhone 5S speaker is by far stronger with its output. Naturally, they're able to play high definition videos with no problems at all, but the larger display of the Xperia Z1S just gives us the more ideal experience between the two. The iPhone 5S's camera app is pretty bare bones and minimal when it comes to shooting modes and manual controls. You have an HDR mode and you can take photos and videos, a square mode, and even panoramic, but that's pretty much the extent of it. You get more of a diversified portfolio with the Z1S. You have more fun with it just because of all the cool shooting modes it has to offer, particularly the augmented, augmented reality effect here, which is pretty neat just because you could just start up and just look at the scenery, and from there it's gonna pop up with several different things in in there so it gives it a very interactive approach so let's briefly talk about the camera tech inside both phones so with the Sony Xperia Z1S it features a 20.7 megapixel camera which features an LED flash you have 1080p video recording quality you have Sony's own G lens in there which has an aperture of f 2.0 and a backside illuminated sensor Whereas with the iPhone 5S, it features a smaller 8 megapixel autofocus camera. It has an f2.2 aperture lens, a backside illuminated sensor, 1080p video recording, and a dual LED flash. Having double the megapixel count has an, is an advantage for the Xperia Z1S. That's just because we're able to take its shots and crop them afterwards with any, without any loss of details. Whereas with the uh, iPhone 5S, if we were to do that, we would obviously see some, some degradation with its quality. So with outdoor shots, it's no brainer we'd pick the Xperia Z1S over the iPhone 5S just because it's able to capture the sharper looking details and its color reproduction tends to be more in the natural side. Under lower lighting situations, we'd go with the iPhone 5S just because its shots as a whole are brighter and less prone to blurring than the Xperia Z1S. There's no denying that both are great when it comes to shooting 1080p videos. They take some impressive looking visuals, a lot of details, very uh, gradual when it comes to their exposure adjustment, and pretty quick when it comes to focus as well. We just find that audio recording is stronger with the Z1S just because it's able to hone in our voice a little bit better than the iPhone 5S. Under lower lighting conditions though, we favor the iPhone 5S more just because there's less noise in its shot. When it comes to chit-chatting on the phone, we could go with either device just because their earpieces are strong, powerful, and loud. Voices are clear for the most part. It's only when we switch to the speakerphone, we actually prefer the iPhone 5S more just because there's less distortion and it's stronger output in comparison to the Z1S. The iPhone 5S doesn't even come close to matching the battery life of the Xperia Z1S. We're able to get by easily a solid one day of heavy usage, so power users will love the Z1S for that, whereas with the iPhone iPhone 5S, it requires a couple of chargers throughout the day to keep a good tally. Essentially, there's no down payment required to pick up either device, but with the Z1S, you're looking at paying $22 per month for the next 24 months. In comparison, the iPhone 5S is a little bit more costly at $25 per month. Needless to say, there's some much needed value found with the Xperia Z1S at the price point it is just because you're getting a premium smartphone, takes exceptional photos and videos, and has a waterproof element to it. At the same time, you can't go wrong picking up the iPhone 5S just because it's a very well-rounded smartphone and it's snappy, fast, compact, premium, all the elements that you want in a great smartphone. So if you guys want to learn more about either device, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. It's John V. Thanks for watching.